Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer, and today we are doing another How to Hello Miners. For those of you who are new to this uh, thing, this series, series, that's the word, this series that I've been doing, I have a sneeze. There's a sneeze caught in my... Oh god, here it comes. <gasps> and it backed away. I'm stronger. I'm the stronger being. But for those of you who are new to this series, um... I am teaching you how to survive in an economy roleplay server. More specifically, hello, miners. Yes, my voice does sound crisp and clear and soothing because I have a brand new microphone, which I am just super darn pumped about. I'm just trying to record this real quick before I have to go to the doctor. As most of you know, I've had some issues with my toe, my big toe, the most important toe, on my right foot, my running foot, um, actually, so it's very important. But I wanted to get this in there because I was thinking just yesterday about a deal that I was making. I was making a deal with a player and realized a lot of new players get scammed because they don't understand how a deal works. They don't understand the mechanics that go into making a deal in the server. So, in accordance to our new president-elect, Mr. President Donald Trump, I am going to be teaching you the art of the deal. I am the best of the deal. Some say I'm, I'm fantastic. Some say I'm the best. This is going to be huge. Just absolutely huge. First thing we're going to do is we're going to build a wall. No, just kidding. What we're going to do first is we're going to, um, we're going to start out making a deal. So, how does a deal work? Well, first you have to have something. And then you have to not want that thing anymore. Or, you have to want money more than you want the utility of that thing. So you're gonna make a deal. You're gonna say, I don't want, you're saying, I, I don't want this anymore. Someone else wants it. So how does that work? Well, there's a couple ways you can do that. First, we're gonna warp to um, Lagtown, also known as River City. What was that? My air freshener just went off and scared the bejesus out of me. Here is, in, in my personal opinion, the best way to make a deal. So if you're trading items, you can go to ba -ba 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 -ba, Orubo here in RC. It's just straight ahead. You're gonna go downstairs. They've made this very easy for us. You're gonna go downstairs, right down here, la 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 la. Best way to do it, in my opinion, because it's super easy. So this is the trade machine. Safe trade, player one. Safe powered by trade Orubo. Safe trade, player two. Trade items safely by entering the doors with lock. And you can trade safely with your partner. Or both blah, 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 blah. So you're going to come in here. As you can see, once you step in, the door will lock. Another player will step in on that side and their door will lock. Then this chest is actually accessible by both of you. So I would put my item for trading in here. And they would put their item for trading in there. And then each of us is safe. No one on the outside can access that chest. Which is awesome. So now once we're done, we leave, we shake hands, we're best friends. Everything's awesome. We're doing a great job. So, yeah, that's an easy way to trade items. But say you don't want to trade items. Say you just want to kill yourself like I just did right now. There we go. And I'm dead. And I'm coming back to life. Maybe. Who knows? I might not. There I am. I'm back to life. So, you come back to life. And then you're here. Another way that you can make a deal is in chat. So, you're going to go in chat and you're going to message the player. So, you're going to go message and then the player that you're wanting to make uh, the deal with. And you're going to say something like, hey, I have a deal for you. Something like this. Something that lets them understand that you have a deal. Something that you want to make some sort of trade or offer. Or sometimes they'll message you. Okay, so you're going to message them and say, hey, I would like to make a deal with you. Probably some, uh, with, with you. With you. Probably something nicer than that. I just sent that message to myself just to be safe, so I'm not sending it to anyone specifically. I'd like to make a deal with you. Awesome, fantastic, right? Super easy. Then they're going to say something, da, da 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 Make sure that whatever you're making the deal on, you understand the prices and values. The best way to do that is to go to the forums page at hellominers.com and looking at deals currently going on or past deals. That's going to be the best gauge for buying and selling. Now I can tell you, for example, Port Hemplo, right now there's a deal going, there are two different deals going on on the server. I would say three different deals. One deal is a building... Let's say it's a 20 by 20 building in Avalon City, which is not a government city, which is a player-owned city, being sold. 20 by 20. There is a 20 by 20 building. It could be the exact same building being sold in Valley City, which is which is a government-owned city. I could get there by typing Warp VC. Um, 20 by 20. And there's also one in... Oh, I'm going to die. Why did I do that? I wasn't thinking. I'm going to go down here. Do I, have, I don't have anything. I'm probably going to die in here. It was a bad decision on my part. I kind of want to take you back. But I don't think I will be able to. 
I made a bad decision. I made a worse decision. Oh, things are bad. No, you're gonna kill him. Oh, he's alive. How do I get you out of here? I want to save you. I want to heal you. Um, but yeah, so those three buildings. The third building is a building in VC, just like the second one. However, it is a landmark building, which means you can't change the outside. Now, landmark buildings are worth a ton of money because they're easily accessible, easily viewable. They're going to be in all the pictures for the Hello Miner server featuring that city. So, I can tell you right now that the bids going are like, I'd say 20000 maybe for that city, for that building in Avalon. For the exact same building, else I could have gotten him out. I could have freed him. Shoot, I'm upset now. Ooh, dead. Ooh, almost dead. Um... The one going in Valley City could be going for 40000 And the one going for Valley City, that's a landmark building that you can't change. You can't edit the outside building in any way. Would sell for about 80000 Which is a huge jump. And the reason is because you have to understand that different buildings, different locations, are worth different amounts of money. Now, I'm not going to come to you and say, hey, I have a building in uh, Icon City, which admittedly is a dead city. It's my city. But admittedly is a dead city. And say, hey, it's a five by six empty plot for eight thousand dollars. Because you'd say, no, absolutely not. However, one in the city would sell for that much. So just understanding the difference in price and values of plots, values of buildings. Some players want buildings, some players don't. It's all completely—I don't know where I'm going. All completely dependent on a lot of things. And the, the only way to really understand and get a grip, get a grasp, get a, get a grip of yourself. The best way to get a grasp of those things is just by going on the forums, checking out different deals that have been made, deals that are being made, deals that will be made, and kind of understanding the value in those things. Because you can't really make a deal unless you know the value. It's kind of like if you go to a foreign country and you're trying to learn to use their money, the first thing you buy is how you're going to gauge things. So if you buy a sandwich, um, then you're going to understand that buying a car, oh, that's the equivalent of buying 8,000 sandwiches in that country. Does that make sense? Because you are working with a foreign uh, currency in this game. You're working with the forcel. Which almost sounds like the word for, and actually has a lot of the same letters now that I think about it. But, you know, it, it comes down to understanding the currency of the game. So before you make any huge transactions, make sure you understand the currency. Next, you want to make sure you understand the player. What are the player's intentions? Now, I've dealt with players before, who they're starting a business, and they say, you know, invest. I was just looking at one that I had a couple months ago, I'd say like eight months, six months, um, about a, uh, a player who wanted me to invest a ton of money. They said, invest your money, and I'll double it. And I became curious, I asked how, and they refused to tell me. Now that is a red flag, if ever there was a flag so red. Because I, they're, they're saying they're going to make me money, but they're not telling me how. That is scamming 101. I'd give them a thousand four souls, they'd say, okay, in about uh, two weeks you'll get two thousand four souls back. Now that's completely doable, but if I were to give them fifty thousand, I'm sure that they would absolutely take it. But the ability for them to turn fifty thousand into hundred thousand within two weeks, and then want to give me my money back is a real big thing. You, so, so it's not just knowing the prices of things. It's, all, there's a, it's also knowing the players that you're dealing with. Because you can be dealing with players who honestly aren't trustworthy players, who have history of being untrustworthy players. So just make sure that whoever you are doing the deals with, whoever you're sparking interest with um, trading money or starting businesses or making item trades, Make sure that with that person, you, 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 uh, you, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, you, um, what? Oh, this is a bad idea. That, that they're a reliable player. Oh, come on, seriously? I'm just going to break this one. That they're a reliable player, that they're someone that you can trust. Um, and that comes with understanding what the money's being used for. If they are asking for money for something and you do want to invest because you do want to double your money in two weeks, understanding kind of what their plan is. Make sure that it's a decent plan that would actually bring them revenue. Because these people, when I ask them, you know, how is my money being used, they would just tell me, we're going to buy plots. And they wouldn't give me very much information past that. Which led me to start thinking, you know, maybe this isn't the best idea. And maybe it's a scam, and maybe I'll get my money back if I report them if I don't get my money back. But it's something that I just did not want to deal with. Personally. And that, again, that's something up to you. Are you someone who's going to deal with this and take the risk knowing that you can report and 90% of the time get your money back or are you gonna say you know I don't want to deal with it it's not worth it understand the risk understand the the reward and decide you know is this gonna be worth it or not 
you know, that's completely up to you. I, I can give you hints and I can give you tips on stuff like that. But it's completely up to you. Is the risk worth the reward to you personally? I'm stuck in the spiderweb again. Is it the same spiderweb? No, it's not. So understand both how the money works in the server as well as understanding players in the server. Um, and I guess that kind of makes it understand the business, understanding what you're putting your money towards. Um, or if you're putting it towards a business, make sure that you're going to want their business to succeed just as much as they are. Because, you know, if, if you are... Am I in someone's region? I'm not. Because if you're investing money, obviously you're investing money because you think you're going to make money. And some people, what is going on over there, are going to take advantage of that. And they're going to say, oh, you want to make money? I'll tell you anything you want. Oh, weird. And they'll be pretty much tell you, saying, you, saying to you that they'll tell you anything that you want to hear to get your money. I can't plan that. I don't want to hold this. There we go. So just be wary of all those things. Last but not least, when making a deal, when uh, striking up a proposition on the server, you're going to want to take plenty of of pictures. Anything that's said regarding the deal, um, if you're going to accept it, so if you're accepting the deal, anything said regarding you accepting the deal, even having the other player repeat themselves for the exact deal, so in one sentence saying, I will pay you double your money of 20,000 forcels in two weeks is, is a good thing. And take pictures of that. And save those pictures. And be willing to use those later. Because if this is the case, that it's just someone trying to scam you, and you need those pictures to get, <coughs> I'm dying, to get your money back, you're going to need them. So take lots of pictures whenever you're making a deal in server. Because you can, if you make a deal on forums, it's super easy. Because it's all there. Everyone sees it. Everyone knows. But when you're making one in um, game, like I showed you earlier where you're messaging people back and forth using the message key, um, using those screenshots so that people you so that you can put that person on blast if you need to is a good thing to do. I'm terrible with that. I'm terrible with keeping track of my screenshots. I'm starting to get better with them, saving them, putting them in different folders, moving them. But that's, that's why my city failed is because, in all honesty, <coughs> and I'm dying, in all honesty, it's because um, I refused to take pictures for eyesores. I just hated it. It was boring. It wasn't fun. It made running a city not enjoyable. And I talk about that in my other uh, my other episode about how to open a city and whatnot. So if you want to see more on how to open a city, check out that channel. Hey, hey, self-advertising. But um, yeah, if you're going to be doing deals, I suggest at first at least do them in forums. But if you are absolutely going to have to make a deal in server, someone contacts you and says, hey, you want to double your money or whatever, be skeptical. You're allowed to be skeptical. I'm, people will try to bully you into saying like, what, you don't believe in me? You think I'm lying to you? Whatever. That's fine. Understand that a lot of the times it is people who are trying to lie to you, or that's a lot of Obsidian, who are trying to lie to you and who are trying to take advantage of you as a player who wants to make money. Every player wants to make money, and that's something that a lot of scammers look to uh, take advantage of. Exploit is the word I was looking for. That's a lot of Obsidian. Jesus. I'm just wandering around in this cave. So when making a deal in the server, just understand, people are going to try to exploit you. So be wary of the business, be wary of the money, and be wary of the player those three things and you are golden and if those three things don't work take it to forums you know it may be kind of annoying for people to see you making a personal deal with someone on forums but it's going to keep you from getting scammed out of a hundred thousand forcels or whatever so yeah if not just take pictures because the biggest thing is evidence making sure that you have evidence in case something goes wrong you have a way to get your money back that's it that's the art of the deal is um, just to be careful and to be scared I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't want to scare you into not making deals and not talking to players. I just want to keep you in mind that everyone in the server has the same goal, and that's to make money. And some people will do whatever it takes. And more people, luckily enough, more people will do whatever it takes within the rules. But just be wary of those characters who are willing to do whatever it takes, no matter what. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. You're the best. You're my personal. Um, I was gonna say personal savior. You're my personal friend. Thank you for checking out the channel. I love you. Bye. Hi, thank you for watching this video by Below Average Gaming and checking out the channel. Be sure to like the video so that I know that you liked the video, just in case you liked the video. Also, be sure to comment and subscribe so I can see exactly what stuff you're interested in watching and make more of that content. Uh, more stuff like How To Hello Miners, where I show you how to get started in an economy-based server and how to have fun while playing Minecraft. Or Electa BuzzFeed, where I play different fan-made uh, Pokemon games as well as fan-made art. 
and just talk about Pokemon theories in general. Also, Sketch Roulette, where I draw items based on different random generators that I find online. Really fun, really cool, and they're all a big part of the Below Average Gaming Network, as well as a lot more. So again, be sure to check out the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. You're the best. Bye.